I'm in the Wireless Power Consortium booth with John Perzow, and he claims he can have uh, a way for us to charge things without wires. Moving electricity without wires is what we do, safely and efficiently. This is your iPhone 5. You set it on a charger, and it charges. It's charging. This is out of a Ford, what? Uh, uh, by the way, I didn't tell you this is audio and video. What he just took was, he took Steve's iPhone 5S, and he uh, popped it into a case, and then he just set it on a, on a charger. charger, and it's charging inductively? Yes, this, is, this one's charging inductively. We have others that charge uh, using a resonant technology. Um, this uses inductive technology also. So now he's got it in kind of a big black box. I'm not sure what that is. This is out of a Ford Fusion. So this is a center console of a Ford Fusion. So it's, it's, it's designed into a number of cars now. The Toyota Avalon, the, the Toyota Camry, uh, the Prius, the Cherokee Jeep Cherokee. There's a lot of cars. Oh, BMW, nice. Audi, there's a lot of cars that have this designed in because people hate getting out of their cars with a dead cell phone. Right, right. But I also hate plugging it in because then I have to switch the input on the, on the stereo and all that kind of nonsense. Exactly. This is the last wire uh, to, that enables you to do that. So I'm grabbing the, the case is very thin and small. Looks kind of like a Mophie, but it's a lot thinner. It's thinner. Yes, this has just a little coil in it. That's all it is. Uh, and an integrated circuit to manage the power. Um, and it, it'll pick it up. Uh, now, the Wireless Power Consortium is a group of about 200, more than 200 companies that have agreed to work together, many of them competitors. So we call it a co-opetition. Uh, folks that compete directly with each other in the open market, but in an R&D sense. Uh, they work together to create the world's best standard for moving power without wires. So that's probably the most impressive thing is that you've got all these companies working together, right? I think, yes, it's taken uh, a number of years uh, to get everyone. W what's impressive is competitors working in, in collaboration. So who isn't in the consortium of note? AT&T is not, um, Verizon is, uh, okay. Apple is not. And we would love them to, to uh, be in our camp. So if they were in your camp, we wouldn't need a case for it separately like that. That's right. You wouldn't need a case. And the phone would be as thin as it already is. I mean, the Apple is a, a beautiful product, beautifully designed product. It just needs wireless charging. Yeah, yeah. I think we could all agree to that. So when would products like this be available? They are available now. So these are all in the market now. This is, you know, this is what Verizon sells on their website, for example, for the Apple phone. Um, so what he held up was the uh, the case I was just talking about. So how much does it sell for? I think that's forty-five dollars. And then you have to buy something to set it in, right? Uh, right. You would get uh, any number. There's a uh, uh, six hundred different products that have been registered. This is one. This is made by a company called Tilt, which oh, is oh, I love Tilt. I it's love Tilt it's too. basically just a little red bend it, bent thing that you set it down in. That's really yeah. cool. So there is a phone that has it built in, no case. Uh, this is the Google Nexus Five. They come out of the box with Qi, and they... So this is Qi wireless charging? Yeah. Ah, that was the word I was looking for. It was to hear if it was part of Qi. Took me that long to say it, didn't it? <laughs> this is the Qi standard. Can you spell Qi? Q-I. Ah, uh, nice, nice. I wasn't sure if it was a Q or an X. Are there, uh, so basically the phone either comes with it, or you sell a case to go to, that gives it to you. That's right. There, there are, there's another option. There are several other options for phones. Uh, one is this little dongle. You, you you would carry this instead of a charger. So it's, he's holding up, a, what, it's just a little wraparound piece with a right. uh, so you would with a lightning in. connector, so that's you plug right. it in. You would plug it in. Oh, the, see, I'm a USB guy. Yeah, I don't think that's an iPhone, so it's not going to fit. Oh, I'm sorry. This <laughs> is a micro USB. Nexus. Sorry. Right, right. Imagine it was Steve's iPhone. Oh, that's a Nexus. You're right. Right, right. So if this was Steve's iPhone, which he Which is over there. This actually changes it. Oh, no, that's micro USB, that's micro USB also. Okay. But anyway, so you could plug this dongle in. One way to do it is plug the dongle in, and then you would put this on the charger. So you put that on the car charger yes. or the uh, or whatever. the tilt or whatever yeah. you get. So it's, you know, this. And the uh, the other way is you have these patches. There, it's a it's a very thin inductor that goes over the battery and under the case. And they make these particularly for. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy series. Very, very cool. So if somebody wanted to learn more about this, where would they go? At wirelesspowerconsortium.com. Very good. Thank you very much, John. My pleasure.